Good morning, my name is Dr. Deborah Alpert. I'm a faculty rheumatologist at Jersey Shore University Medical Center with Meridian Medical Associates. So we're involved with many clinical trials in rheumatology, but I'm gonna to focus today on actually a very interesting trial, which happens to be a cardiology trial. And I'm a rheumatologist who's one of the few rheumatology principal investigators for a cardiology trial. Uh, it's called the Cardiovascular Inflammation Redu uh, Reduction Trial, or CERT. And the reason I'm involved as a rheumatologist is because we're using a medication called methotrexate, used a lot in rheumatoid arthritis as the study drug for this trial. So CERT is actually a study of patients who have a history of heart disease that's either a heart attack or coronary artery disease, uh, who have either diabetes or metabolic syndrome. Metabolic syndrome is a precursor to diabetes. And the goal of this study is to see if low-dose methotrexate is able to decrease inflammation and reduce future cardiovascular events, that is future heart attacks, future strokes, or future cardiovascular death. So patients who are eligible for the study are any patients who have either diabetes or metabolic syndrome, again, metabolic syndrome being a precursor to diabetes, who have coronary artery disease, which means they've either had a heart attack or they have documentation of blocked vessels on angiogram, at least one or more blocked vessels. So there's a huge group of people who'd be potentially eligible for this study. This is actually a new hypothesis saying that if we treat inflammation, because we know that inflammation is important in coronary artery disease, can treating inflammation alone also decrease risk of events. So we know inflammation is important, but if this trial proves what we expect it to prove, we might be using methotrexate as part of the armamentarium to treat coronary artery disease in addition to treating the traditional risk factors. So methotrexate is FDA approved for the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis, and at much higher doses is approved for the treatment of cancers at chemotherapeutic doses. For this trial, it's being used at low doses, which are the doses used for rheumatoid arthritis. So methotrexate has been used for decades it's the cornerstone of treatment for rheumatoid arthritis. The good thing is methotrexate really doesn't interact with most diabetes and cardiovascular meds. So patients in this trial could be secure that their medication and their cardiovascular disease is still being managed by their cardiologist and their diabetes is still being managed by their endocrinologist or their primary care physician. Well, I'm very excited about this trial because this is really uh, state of the art. But using methotrexate, you know, we can actually, this is changing the standard of care of treating coronary disease.